Alright, so in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make trails in Roblox Studio. So, the first thing we're going to do is make a script in server script service, and I'm going to call that trail script. And then I'm going to, in this trail script, I'm going to put a trail. And now in this trail, I'm going to change the color. So, I'm going to make it go from pink to white with a gradient. So, if you click these three dots, and then you open up this gradient thing, you can then, at different points, have different colors. So, I'm just going to make it go from pink to white, and then I'm going to close it. And then I'm going to make this lifetime 1.5. And you can change the other things if you like. Transparency, whatever. And now I'm going to go back into this trail script. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a variable for the trail first of all. So local trail equals script.trail. And now I'm going to have an event that fires every time a player joins the game. So I'm going to do game.players.player added colon connect function. And then in this function, in these brackets, I'm going to take the player object. And then I'm going to do player dot character added colon connect function character. And now we're going to start giving the player the trail. So how we're going to do that is first of all we're going to have two different points on in the character. What we're going to do is we're going to have a part here and then a part here, for the trail to be across. So if we go back into our script, first of all I'm going to make a part. So I'll say local part one equals instance dot new part. And then I'm going to do part one dot anchored equals false. I'm going to do part one dot can collide equals false. I'm going to do part one dot vis uh, dot transparency equals one. And then part one dot size equals vector three dot new one comma one comma one. And then I'm going to set the parent of it so part one dot parent equals character. And then I'm going to make a second part. So part two. Change all of these to part two. And then I'm going to change the name of each. So part one dot name equals part one. And then part two dot name equals part two. And then I'm going to make two welds. So local weld one equals instance dot new weld constraint. And then weld one dot parent equals character. Weld one dot part zero equals character dot humanoid root part and then world one dot part one equals part one and then you can copy and paste that again and do it for world two so if you change all these numbers to world two again but this time for part one we're going to make it part two and now we're going to put these parts in the correct position so i'm going to say part one dot position equals character dot humanoid root Part dot position plus vector three dot new zero comma point five comma zero and then I'm gonna copy this again and I'm gonna put on a new line but this time I'm gonna say part two dot position is minus and now we can give the play the trail so we're gonna say local new trail equals trail colon clone and then we're gonna say new trail dot dot attachment zero equals part one and then new trail dot attachment one equals part two and then we're going to say new trail dot parent equal character one last thing i forgot to do we need to make these attachments actual attachments so we need to put two attachments in these parts so what we're going to do is say local attach one equals instance on new attachment attach one dot parent equals part one and then we're going to say local attachment two equals instance dot new attachment again and this time we're going to say attach two dot parent equals part two and then this time we're just going to change part one dot attachment and then part two dot attachment now if we play our game you can see that as i'm walking i have a trail so that was how you make trails in Roblox Studio. If you found this helpful, then please subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.